Hi! Today we're going to make biochar using the best biochar kiln. First we need to place the kiln in a safe place so we don't set anything on fire. We will need some gloves and a hose, both for safety and for quenching the biochar when it's ready. Have your biochar materials gathered. They should be dry and about the same size, roughly about pencil size to one inch in diameter. The length can vary as long as it will fit in the kiln. Next, we put a little dirt around the bottom edges of the kiln to seal out air. This dirt will be washed out when we quench the biochar. Now we build a small fire in the bottom. As soon as possible without smothering the fire, start building up the depth of the woody material in the kiln to the top of the kiln and let it burn. At the mid phase of burning, you will see the flame actually burning above the top of the kiln because the gases are being baked out of the material below. Since the oxygen is being consumed in the top of the kiln, the wood does not burn but instead turns into charcoal. The material will start to settle. You can add more to the top and keep the process going until the kiln is totally full or just let the flames die down and finish this batch. When the flames are almost gone, it's time to quench the biochar. This stops the process before it begins to consume the new biochar and rinses out any ash that is formed. There shouldn't be much. And here we have it. Biochar for your garden in about half an hour. Pretty easy.